I wanted to just share uh, a little trick that you can uh, do on uh, Netify uh, to give people access to maybe a private beta or something that you're testing on your site. Now, I recently looked at some split testing uh, and how you could do split testing on Netify to shape traffic to go to different branches that you're serving from your CDN. Uh, and this, this little uh, trick of using split testing in this way actually allows people to opt in to see uh, the features that you've deployed to a particular branch. So the way that we do that, um, I've got a little example here that I'll show on my site. Um, I've got a little branch uh, called Oso Orange because I'm changing my theme from this kind of green theme that I've got here. Let's look around. Uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty green, let's be honest. Um, but I've got an orange version that I'm going to test. But I want to give people a UI to opt into that. So what we're going to do is we'll, we'll use the split testing. So rather than shaping the traffic automatically between, between the two branches, what we'll do is we'll actually you know, set this, this branch to zero so none of the traffic is going there automatically. Now, we, we could do things, let's lock that. We could do things like add other branches and say, okay, well, we'll shape the rest of the traffic between these things, but this branch is opt-in only. Uh, but for the sake of this, this example, we'll just serve everyone to the main the main master, the main version of the site, and then we'll give people an opt it, an option to opt in to this to this branch. So I'm going to save that configuration. I'll start that test. So now um, we'll be able to give people the option to opt in to seeing this. Now the way that we do that um, is that we do that with a cookie. So I've created uh, a little page here that you know maybe we might promote to people. Uh, you know we might be wanting to uh, give people a chance to to go and try some new features on a site, opt into a beta, and we can send them to this URL. Uh, and all that this has on it is you know some information about where they're going to opt into, uh, and then a button to that they can they can uh, take an action and then opt into that beta. Behind the scenes, all this is doing. I'll show you the code. All this is doing is setting a cookie. So I've got a little um, uh, button click uh, handler here, just as a little utility. Uh, and then if I'm opting in, what we're doing is we're setting a cookie for the, the Netlify A-B testing uh, cookie. Uh, and we're saying, give this user this branch behind the scenes, and we'll set an expiry date. And then we just load the page. So let's have a look at how that works. So if I hit opt in, uh, there we go. I've got my orange theme being served now, and I'm still serving this this page uh, from this this branch of my site because I want to give people a chance to opt out. Uh, but you know, now we're in here. As so you navigate around the site, you know you can see that I'm serving you know a completely different branch. Um, the change is only quite cosmetic for this example, uh, but uh, but nonetheless, uh, you can see that I'm serving that on the same URL. So someone has now opted in uh, to uh, that that beta essentially um, if we just open up the the console you're able to see that you know there's there's my um, here's my cookie that's been set uh, so now the CDN is shaping this traffic for this user always to uh, to that branch I can opt out and what I'm doing here with this with this button is I'm just deleting that cookie and reloading the page so that's that cookie's been deleted but since we're running a split test Netlify is adding uh, this cookie uh, by default over here um, that would normally be shaping traffic between whichever branches we have uh, but now you know it's just serving everyone uh, to to this section so there we go that's a, a very simple way of using an existing feature to let people uh, opt in to beta uh, fit functionality on your site um, Again, it's, it's very powerful, very useful, and just building on some simple fundamentals uh, of uh, the Netlify platform. I hope that was helpful. We'll look at some more things another time.